Hi everyone, I just wanted to share very quickly a couple of pages that I've been working on for a collaborative paper bag book swap. Um, this is with a Yahoo group that I'm involved with. So this is the first page that I created. We had to do something that has a nature theme. So the background on here was created with two different um, colour wash sprays. These are by a UK company um, called Sticky Fingers. So one is in the Buttercup and the other one I used, the red, is the Poppy. And then over the top of that, I don't know if you can see, there's a, a slight bit of sparkle there. I also used one from the, the same company from their Lustre range and that was the Aubergine ink. Then in the background, the next thing I did was to stamp this flower here, which is stamped in Stays on Purple. And that is a Hero Art stamp. It's the one there. And after I'd stamped that, then I took um, a couple of Tim Holtz stamps. There's the little corner here that was stamped in black and the speckles as well. And that is from the urban tapestry sheet so that's the the stamp sheet that they're, they're from the corner and there's the speckles okay and then to finish off I added some collage images so I found the blackbird image on the internet printed it off at the right size um, on matte photo paper and it came with the little name underneath it so I cut that out and kept most of it and then just put another collage element which was a typewriter keys sheet again I resized it however I wanted and then put that over the top and a small little butterfly as well which complemented the colours because it has the same colour as the blackbird on the edge of its wings so that was the first page that I did and then we had to do some sign in pages that reflected um, one of the pages we did so I chose this one to reflect the sign in pages and you just had to do little tiny sign in pages so it's got the same background really then the second page that I did also with the theme of nature was this one here and this one uses the background uses distress ink which I just sponged over the, the whole background and that was the frayed burlap then I took a stamping up French script and stamped that over the top of there with some walnut stain and then the stamped images the rest of the stamped images were stamped in versifying black and they're all Tim Holtz images so I started by stamping the the birds on the wire at the top there and that is from the creative muse set so it's this set here and there's the little birds at the top and then I used a stamp position so I could line up the, the bird cage um, so it looked as though it was hanging off the, the wire at the top there. And then I overstamped the little bird and a sort of floral flourish edge all the way around. And those stamps are from this set here, which is the Artful Flight. So we've got the bird cage that I used, that's the flourish around the edge there. Um, oh, and the little bird, actually, that's from a different set. Um, I can't remember the name of that set but there's two of the cling mount sets one's got the smaller bird one's got the large and that's the smaller bird of the two so I'll post I'll put which set that is um, in the sidebar and I'm finished so that's those um, I hope my swap partners like them and I hope it's been inspirational to somebody how to use Tim Holtz stamps so thank you for watching and please leave a comment bye